So I had a patient come to see me in January of 2021. She was 80 years old. She had stage four pancreatic cancer with metastasis to the liver. So she had one big tumor in her pancreas and five in her liver. And when she came to see me, I did an assessment and I found out she wasn't very toxic with metals or chemicals. She wasn't loaded up with parasites or other organisms. And her diet was pretty good. She ate a very clean diet. She called it lots of vegetables, lots of salads and Ezekiel bread, which is probably the healthiest bread out there. And her A1C was 5.7. So most, probably all medical doctors would say that's totally fine. She's not, you know, diabetic. She's not even pre-diabetic according to some labs. But in my assessment, that's too high. It should be 5.4 or less for everybody, every single person. So I told her you need to eat the ketogenic diet. Ketosis can get rid of a lot of different tu tumors. And that's probably the reason why you have pancreatic cancer is because you've been eating sort of a high carb diet. She goes, well, this is my healthy diet. I've been eating this way for 30 years. I said, yeah, this is the problem. So I told her eat nothing but red meat and liver. And she's Jewish and she was very proud of her chopped liver. And actually, I'm sure, was, you know, I've had some really good tasting chopped liver before. And it took me several weeks to get her to understand and for me to say those words about eating just red meat and liver. So it wasn't just like first visit telling her what to do. Anyways, over the course of three months, what happened was her tumors were shrinking. One totally went away and her uh, cancer marker in her blood, which when she came in was 10,400. After three months, it was 195. So her cancers were going away and it was fantastic. And then it, they started to come back and her cancer marker went to 2,000 and 4,000, and then four months later she died. And her, uh, she had a funeral, and one of her daughters came to see me afterwards and admitted that her mom had gotten the jab, the third one, and um, that's when her cancer started to come back, that's when her cancer markers and her blood started to go up, and that's what ended it. So the point here is, uh, you know what the point is.